Welcome to Batiklo Model Railway. I'm Darshan. Let me give you a brief introduction of uh, this layout uh, I'm building uh, and, and uh, where it is situated. Um, this is actually at my family owned resort. Uh, it's called a Riviera Resort in Batiklo, eastern province of Sri Lanka. Uh, the resort has been going on for more than 30 years. Um, uh, it is a, it's a, it's a eco-friendly uh, resort uh, with uh, 10 acres of land and along the lagoon front. Um, so it's one of the top places to stay in Batiklo. So anyone who are coming here to visit Batiklo, uh, no, please check out my place. Um, and if you are uh, if you are interested, uh, you can book us through uh, online or through the uh, through Booking.com and various other sites. Um, the layout, of course, um, I started uh, doing this uh, probably nine months ago in April uh, 2019. Um, so it's, it's quite a new project, so it's uh, not even 10-20% uh, uh, done. Uh, this, uh, this room is actually around uh, 6 meters by 4 meters, that is around uh, 20 feet by 15 feet. The bench, uh, the bench is uh, the minimum uh, height is uh, uh, four feet, uh, and uh, I think it gives us a better perspective of the trains uh, when running uh, at eye level. Uh, and uh, the other main purpose was um, I have a, a, a small disability on my right side. Uh, I had a brain aneurysm around uh, seven eight years years ago. So it is uh, uh, difficult for me to crawl underneath the uh, way if it's, uh, the benches are quite low. So this, uh, this gives me a bit of clearance for me to work on it, work on and uh, do all the wiring. And uh, I have been living in England for more than uh, 12 years. And uh, in 2012, I decided to come back uh, and uh, help my parents to run this um, uh, resort. So I started collecting and buying most of the stuff on eBay. Uh, the probably around 60-70% of the stuff that I have, are mainly the tracks, uh, the locos, and the rolling stocks. Uh, I bought them on, on eBay when I was in England. And let Let me thank all, all the all the YouTubers who have done a great job in posting how to do uh, videos. Without uh, those videos. Um, I probably would have even started this uh, hobby again. Uh, the main challenge I think I faced uh, in doing this uh, layout is um, to find the exact uh, material and uh, the stuff that uh, is explained on YouTube, uh, which uh, uh, which is mainly based on UK and uh, US, where things can be bought online very easily and delivered very quick, quickly as well. But uh, being in Batiklo, uh, in the eastern part of Sri Lanka, it's, it's uh, quite difficult uh, to get hold of things even though you can buy things online. It takes a long time to get delivered and, and uh, uh, most of the time the, the, the courier charges are more expensive than the, uh, the item itself. I, I very much enjoy doing this uh, uh, hobby and, and uh, as any, any modeler or model railway enthusiast will know that um, it's a, it's a, it, it's an ongoing project as so I'm looking forward to do all these things uh, and uh, uh, work on my layout and far as the tracks are being done uh, I think 90% of the track work has been done uh, Robert who actually helped me with especially to solder the uh, solder the feeder wires uh, because it's a bit difficult for me to solder with uh, one hand. So he, uh, Robert helped me out with uh, with the, with the feeder wires. Uh, once that is done, uh, I slowly work on the on the laying the tracks. So from laying the tracks, uh, doing the bus wire, uh, all the all the connections, uh, everything um, I did it on my own. Uh, so I, it's challenging and it's finding uh, ways around things. Uh, it's it's very interesting as well. I will be posting other videos on this uh, channel. Uh, some uh, I might have taken uh, before uh, uh, before this video, so there will be less work. But I want to upload those videos as well, so I have a complete collection of uh, how how things are done. Uh, put this on public. Is anyone who is interested? 
um, in having a look at this uh, layout. Um, I'm happy to show, show them around. Uh, probably there will be a uh, fee involved at some point um, and the guests who will come and stay here can uh, have a look as well. Uh, but uh, please make prior arrangement because uh, it all depends on my availability. When you are when you are looking at this, these videos, it might it, it won't be at a professional um, uh, quality uh, because I'm using just a normal uh, Lumix uh, Lumix camera, um, and and uh, you will probably see some uh, camera shake uh, because I have to zoom and do everything with my one hand, uh, and uh, you might uh, hear my uh, feet uh, dragging along as I walk, uh, uh, but. Um, well, hopefully I will try to minimize the disruption um, and uh, you can enjoy actually the, the video itself. So uh, uh, thank you for, uh, for watching this video and I will, I will continue with, uh, with some, some shots uh, showing the layout and, and, and the controls that I have used. If you are interested please uh, continue watching um, and uh, if, you, if you want to come and visit uh, this layout at some point uh, please, uh, please contact uh, contact me and uh, we, we can uh, make arrangements. Thank you. So this is actually the layout that I have. Uh, this is the room. I um, just want to show you around. So I said it's around 6 meters by 4 meters. Uh, that is around 25, 20 feet by 15. Um, and this is the scenery bit that I have done. The virgin and uh, and the uh, and the steam engine. Just kept that for the time being. I don't know what to. I bought it on eBay and it doesn't uh, fit anywhere. But I just have it. Let's see. So here I have a reverse loop actually. So I'm planning to have a, a fiddle yard underneath here. Uh, that's going to be a bit challenging uh, so I'm not concentrating on that at the moment um, I still have some trains uh, in, in my drawers uh, which I probably will um, use uh, a bit uh, later and uh, once I'm tired with one trains then uh, then I'll probably put them back and use the other ones that are not used um, So still, as you can see, I haven't done the ballasting, um, which will probably be done once the signaling and everything is been done. Um, it's strong advice not to do ballasting until everything is been completed. I think this this uh, this section uh, which I have done uh, a tunnel for the three tracks and the one one track going above that, um, which. Uh, I'm not particularly very happy but I think I'm stuck with it now uh, because I want the trains to go both ways with the reverse loop and want to come through uh, in uh, climbing down um, uh, through these tracks as well. So let's see how it works because I need to put a probably a girder bridge I was thinking but it might be uh, it might block uh, the tunnel behind and the rock face, uh, I'm not sure. Um, and as you can see, um, here I have a hinge mechanism for the for to come in. Um, with hindsight, probably I would have done something, I should have uh, um, planned it slightly differently so that um, you don't need a, a hinge mechanism, but, um, but you can actually walk in and then um, 
you know have a different type of layout where the cracks don't run all all the way along the wall but uh, i think this is uh, this has maximized my uh, track usage space uh, which is quite good as well so um, i'm happy about that so, so it's no big worries so these are the um, bridges that i bought and i was in red so i've just painted it in black but there's still a lot of work to be done uh, with the rust and all these things um, even the paint is a bit difficult to find here because you know the normal paints that you have is for the kids uh, paint and uh, spray paints you have as well so specialist paints uh, like the rust color the, or the the burnt amber and all these things are very difficult to find and here you can see the NCE control that I have um, uh, in uh, this is uh, this is the wiring that is coming here. Uh, that is, the, this, this is actually for the uh, reverse loop mechanism. Um, and I just have a test track there as well. Um, so the wiring has been done for, for uh, occupancy detection as well. So I have uh, isolated uh, joints uh, along. Um, but um, the wiring is, uh, can be changed easily uh, if I want to do it at a later stage, but now it has been connected as, uh, uh, there, are, there are sections, but uh, not uh, blocks yet. Um, and uh, here you can see the, uh, the DCC motor, uh, point motor being installed. Here you can see my um, diagram for my switches and uh, turnouts. Um, uh, so I have three. Uh, um, so the 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 points I have marked them. Uh, I need to do the um, LED lights and and push buttons also. Uh, so the M numbers uh, represent the macros that I have programmed to define the routes, uh, which will be, so that it's easier for me to uh, work on uh, sending the trains. Let me quickly show you some of the tools that I'm using because of um, my one hand operation most of the time. Um, I use my hand as uh, much as possible because uh, that is what you need to do uh, after a stroke or aneurysm, so, um, but uh, sometimes uh, Finding jobs cannot be done using this hand. So um, the tools that I rely on is uh, mainly the clamps, as you can see, the clamps here, all sorts of clamps, uh, bigger ones as well, and and, and uh, another clamp. Uh, this is quite useful to do uh, delicate work and and uh, control the pressure that you apply. Uh, then the other new thing that I the main one that I'm using now is, is one of these uh, steel bars, um, stainless steel bars. Uh, this is actually a, uh, doubles up as a ruler uh, so that I can just place something underneath and uh, the weight of this, probably around at least two kilos I would say, uh, will hold the things in, in place. Uh, also I have uh, uh, this clamp uh, um, which I used to uh, if I want to hold a track inside and then pull the pins out and uh, cut tracks, all these things are done with this clamp, um, which has a rubber um, a rubber sleeve, so it, it doesn't um, it doesn't uh, damage the uh, tracks or anything. And and then of course uh, the normal um, power tools uh, the, to cut the tracks and hand drill and all these things to make uh, make drills and make the holes on the for the feeder wires uh, those are normal tools that we use uh, on a uh, on a model railway the, this is this is actually my uh, main workbench uh, when i'm trying to do the scenery and uh, and uh, and uh, cutting and all these things are done on on this um, uh, board so you can actually have uh, clamps on all sides which makes it easier to hold things. Even this comes handy sometimes. Um, paper clip. Uh, so it is. It's quite handy, quite easy to work uh, 
uh, after clamping them in uh, properly uh, I can uh, go about uh, doing my work with uh, mainly with one hand uh, and let me show you the work area that I use as well uh, and uh, th this is my uh, work work area where I work uh, with um, uh, with the locos and um, and electronic stuff um, so as you can see I have taken apart uh, Intercity 125 HST. Uh, this is an old thing, that uh, old model that I actually bought on eBay for very, very cheaply. Can't even remember now. And and uh, uh, the motor is not running at all, so I'm going to service it and see uh, whether it can be uh, it can work again. And as you can see, there's the chip uh, that I installed. Onto, onto this um, because this was a DC model as well and uh, then there are some um, useful books and, and model railway magazines that I um, got recently uh, from England. Hope you enjoyed this uh, particular model railway first video. Um, I just want to give you some more information about this uh, uh, layout. This is actually double O or HO scale which is 1 is to 76 um, uh, in scale here as you can see there's a lot of uh, work to be done um, uh, the scenery and there's a lot of electronic work to be done as well uh, with the signaling uh, and things um, and also also we need a lot of buildings to come up uh, the stations has to be built and if there are any experts who can actually build models uh, who have done this before in, the, in a similar scale. If you can uh, contact me and uh, uh, we can see how we can work together and uh, share this uh, uh, load uh, because I, I think this is, uh, is a passion to share and uh, it, is, it is called the uh, greatest hobby in the world. Uh, please watch some uh, videos on uh, YouTube about um, Model Railway, just type uh, double O gauge uh, Model Railway. Have a look at those um, videos where these experts have done a great job in uh, in replicating these um, sceneries and, and the stations, the structures, uh, how the signal works, uh, all the electronics. It's amazing to watch. Uh, it's, um, it is actually a great hobby to have. Uh, um, it might be, it is a bit on the expensive side, but. Um, you know, if resources can be shared, I think uh, a lot of people can uh, uh, enjoy uh, enjoy this uh, hobby. Finally, let me thank all the viewers who have actually watched this um, uh, video and uh, the following videos to come as well. Um, and and uh, hopefully you would have got some inspiration by looking at this uh, video. And um, as I said, if you, if anyone is willing to have a, uh, want to come and have a look, um, uh, please let me know, and uh, we'll see how we can uh, manage uh, manage uh, uh, viewing time. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, until the next video, uh, cheers.